Today we're going to do a repair on the boat prop. Now I'm going to talk before we do this about gases and torch tips. Now, this is a large prop. Uh, I've done these props before. You can see where I did one here uh, on this blade. It took a long time to get that prop hot enough to melt the rod with propane. So I'm going to use matte gas. Another thing you might consider is what type of torch tip you have. This doesn't put out nearly as much heat as like this TS-4000 or even higher is this TS-8000. And this is also adjustable. And I'm going to be adjusting it up and down so it doesn't make a lot of noise when I talk when I'm doing the, uh, the repair. So you got to match the gas and the tip to what you're working on. I've had people work on a large boat and they got this tip and propane and they say, it doesn't get hot enough. Well, it's not going to. You got to put more BTUs on it. So that's my deal on the, on the gases and the, and the uh, uh, tips. Okay, uh, and how do you know if you don't have enough heat? If the rod never melts, get a hotter torch. So, all right, prop here, we're gonna do a repair on it. And the way I'm gonna do this is, I'll get a piece of steel. After I get it cleaned up on both sides with a wire brush or a Dremel, I'll back it with the steel like so. And then I'll build out on that steel with the rod. Now I'm going to tin my back side so I have connection there, and also I'll tin my uh, top side. But when we do this repair, just don't put the rod on the edge. You've got to come back here on the prop, ties it together. That's where you get your strength because the rod actually penetrates into the pore structure of the aluminum. So it will tie this bar of the prop together with this back side with, with, with the repaired area. Okay. Now I'm using a carbon steel brush to clean this. I can do that because this is a second generation rod. There's no aluminum in it. So I don't have to worry about carbon contamination. Cleaner is always better. If you've got stainless steel, go ahead and use that. But if you don't, don't worry about it. I don't have to worry about the carbon contamination because I'm not going aluminum to aluminum. And that's very important I don't put the rod in the flame. I'm heating the prop, I move the flame and I check it. This is my temperature stick. Put the rod in the flame, it will not be strong. have a layer of rod on there now. I'm going to kind of smooth it up with a piece of steel. The rod doesn't stick to steel or stainless steel. Just to make it smooth, I've got it in the poor structure there. That'll be connected to the piece we add on. That's smooth. I don't want to mess up my back pitch. Okay. Okay, we got the back side tin and I got this piece of steel strapped to it. The rod does not stick to steel, so I use it for a backer. I'm going to reheat that prop. Remember, I just tinned the back side. I also tinned this front side. I'm going to heat it up. It doesn't take long with this map gas and this TS-8000 torch. And we'll just build it on out. And then we'll grind it off and do a strength test on it.
has melted, you see, but the prop is just now gotten up the temperature. The prop is just now melting the rod. So I'm going to turn the, keep the flame down low so I can kind of talk. If I've got it up the temperature, all i got to do is maintain that temperature. Then I'll just build out on it. See, I'm building out on this piece of steel. Got plenty of contact here with the prop. And then I'll put a big clump there so I have, can shape it however I see fit. This will save you $50 to $80 on a prop repair. You can do it yourself. It's very simple. You can do a lot of prop repairs. I'm only going to use about one rod to do this. Very, very easy. Saved a lot of time and money. Just do it yourself. As soon as I get enough rod on there, I'm going to just let it cool. This is going to take several hours to cool, so we're going to do another uh, demo. Work on that while this is cooling, and then we'll take a Dremel and grind it off. It didn't take long, about 10 minutes to, to grind it. So this torch, I got to turn way down because it gives me a lot of time to shape it however I want. And there we have a nice puddle that we can shape and reform that prop. We're going to let it cool and go solid. And take a Dremel to it and save fifty to eighty dollars. Okay, obviously our boat prop is now cooled, so I'm going to take off the clamps. The steel will just fall right off because the rod didn't stick to steel or stain the steel. And then our back pitch. It's pretty much done. I've got to uh, smooth it up a little bit. I've got to uh, get a Dremel and take care of that edge. And then we'll see how strong that is. So it'll be a few minutes uh, time to see how long it takes me to, to clean that up. Okay, here it is. I uh, just used this Dremel tool with a nice hard burr on it. It took me about 20 minutes to get it to this shape. And that's good enough for what we're going to do because I'm going to take a hammer and try to break it. So I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. But what you do is cut get a piece of cardboard and cut a template from a good blade and put it on there and then match it up. And as far as balancing, uh, just several ways of balancing, just look it up on the internet and uh, uh, you know you can always add more rod to one of the surfaces, to hard surface it, to, to balance it. But uh, once you get a chip in it, it's not balanced and there's a lot of these running <laughs> with, it, with this way. The rod weighs nearly the same exact weight as aluminum. It's a tiny bit, I forget what percent, like 6%. Uh, heavier than the aluminum. So you do have to make an adjustment on your uh, 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 balancing. All right, here's the money shot now. Take a hammer and see what happens if we try to break this. I'm going to hold it, simulate hitting a rock or something. And zoom in. You can see it stood that pretty well, didn't it? Let's try the back side. That was the question I got. Hit it from both sides. How we do? I don't know how hard you want me to hit it, but uh, got to do both sides. Tend the back side of it. If you don't, it could break off. Okay. That's about a $50 to $80 repair. You can do it yourself. Your skag, lower units, any part of your cast aluminum. Uh, you don't have to wait on either. You can do it yourself. I did this. God, total time with the cooling takes us a while. Took with the cooling involved probably two to three hours. Uh, without the cooling, and you got to let it slow cool. You can't, you know, put it in the water to cool it and speed it up because it won't work that way. Let it slow cool. So anyway, boat repair prop, easy to do yourself. All you need is a pack of my rod, HTS735 from aluminum-weld.com. I got these videos on YouTube. Uh, I'm only a phone call away if you have any questions. 
And uh, all the information for YouTube is here. You can zoom in on there. Just type in HTS735 on YouTube, search that.